Hi everybody, this is River Moon's Gashik Bypass Journey and I'm Aika. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it's been a few weeks since I last recorded. Um, I had a lot of health situations going on after my gastric bypass surgery, but we're going to get into all of that. Well, so to start um, my stats, today is August 20th. Um, I am a little over six weeks post-op. Um, the last time I made my, if you see me keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my journal because I had to write everything down. Um, the last time I spoke to you guys, it was my two weeks post op. Um, that day that I did that two week post op, I ended up getting a severe ear infection. But we're going to get into all of that. Things kind of went downhill from there. Well, again, this is my six week post op. Um, my surgeon was Dr. Zegra Fakis at Summa Bariatrics Clinic um, in Akron, Ohio. Um, my starting weight was 355 pounds. My surgery weight was 313 pounds. And today's weigh-in is 278 pounds. Um, that is a loss of 35 pounds since surgery and a total loss of 77 pounds. Um, I can definitely tell you guys that I see and feel the difference. My clothes is um, fitting a lot different now, a lot looser. Um, obviously, I'm still not where I want to be because my goal weight is about maybe 160, 165. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. Well, I wanted to first touch bases with you guys on what's been going on for why I haven't uh, made any posts in the last couple of weeks. Um, so basically the day, the last time I made a, um, video, I was, that evening I ended up getting a severe ear infection and I ended up getting a fever. Well, with that fever, um, it spiked up to 102. Um, I could barely walk, I could barely drink, um, I got severely dehydrated. Um, they put me on a bunch of antibiotics, which messed my new tummy up tremendously to where, um, it was hard for me to drink even just something as simple as water. So, I was sick for about two weeks. Um, like I said, I couldn't really walk. I had no energy. I was just very, very, very sick. Um for about two weeks I didn't eat anything and when I say nothing I ate nothing for two weeks I mean that um, I was barely getting in liquids to the point where um, I was about to just go to the emergency um, but they put me on anamoxicillin and um, they didn't I guess my primary didn't under realize that if anamoxicillin messes with someone with a normal tummy, somebody with a newborn tummy like myself being a gastric bypass patient, they would, um, it would really mess with their stomach. So um, after my fever finally went away, my taste buds changed yet again since surgery. So now I can't drink crystal lights. Water tastes funny, which it didn't before. Um, I can't eat tuna fish. Um, I'm on regular foods, by the way. Um, but unfortunately, let's see here. Sorry about that. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to keep this short because obviously my battery is trying to go down. Um, but... It's been a struggle. I have been able to go ahead and uh, realize, uh, start drinking uh, tea. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> I started drinking tea, um, iced tea. I have to have everything ice cold. No food tastes good whatsoever other than Mexican food. Pico de gallo, spicy stuff, things of that nature. Um... So, 
I haven't been getting my protein. My protein is about 60 grams a day. I've been getting close to like 45, but it really does feel like a chore just trying to get in the 64 ounces of water, let alone trying to get in food because only a couple of bites get me full. Um, quickly gets me full. Um, so I like chicken. Um, been trying to stay away from a lot of other stuff. I don't want any burgers and things of that nature. I actually don't want to eat at all. Um, I'm actually to a point where I'm only eating because I have to. I really don't enjoy eating anymore. Food just does not taste good. But I'm glad my tummy does like bacon. So I had bacon for the first time two days ago and my tummy liked it thankfully I just I don't like sweets anymore that's that's dead I did have a couple of slip-ups already and that's probably due to my food addiction where um, I tested my waters with some sour cream and onion chips which was my favorite and they were delicious but I had to put that away so for this past week I only lost about maybe maybe about two pounds but that's okay I'm back on track now I'm back on track with my water as well. Um, I did buy a exercise bike. So I have been doing 30 minutes a day on that. Um, so I don't lose momentum. I've been focusing on um, getting in my fluids. It's still hard to walk, unfortunately. I think because the way my body is changing, my thighs are getting smaller. So I'm not walking with a waddle. <laughs> anymore so I've been f finding a lot of pain in my hip because I guess my instead of being farther out it's coming in so it's been hurting a bunch but I've been using my cane um, trying to go up and down the stairs um, as much as I possibly can um, but after after I ended up ooh, sorry Oh, the burping. Sorry, it's weeks later and I'm still burping. And yeah, I use a straw. Found that's the only way I'm going to be able to get in my liquids. Now, my surgeon's program says no straws. No straws ever again whatsoever. Um, I've obviously broke that rule because I noticed when I drink without the straw... It takes me a lot longer to sip. I sip a lot less, and I barely get through a 32 ounce cup. However, um, when I start using my straw, um, I actually got in 110 ounces yesterday. Um, I don't know what it is, but I get my liquids in better with a straw. So, even though my surgeon says no straws ever again, I'm still going to use straws. Don't do like me. Again, it doesn't hurt my tummy, but it might hurt yours. Um, I do know they say don't use straws because you could put a lot of um, you could put a lot of air in your tummy and it hurts. If it hurts, don't do it. For me, it doesn't hurt. Um, so uh, I use straws. I don't. I'm not on um, carbonated drinks. I don't want any carbonated drinks. Now they said never do that. I don't want to feel the pain of the carbonated drinks, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, even though ginger ale just many a days when I was sick seemed like it was going to be phenomenal. But I'm just not going to go that route. And that would be an ultimate trigger for me. So I'm just not going to do that. Um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? My exercise routine. So I don't want my progress slowing down even with the R&Y. So I did start. As I stated, um, the exercise bike, I'm doing that about 30 minutes a day, trying to break it up to either three 10-minute sessions or two 15-minute sessions. Slow and steady wins the race. I know as some people out there just do the 30 minutes. With my arthritis, I have to do what I got to do so I don't be too sore so I can continue to do it every day. So if for you, you know, getting on there, knocking it all out at one time is what you can do, then good for you. I'm going to do what's best for my body 
and I'm going to slowly um, progress myself to be able to do it all at once. So for the first time yesterday, I was able to do two 15-minute sessions instead of three 10 minutes. Um, it's working out pretty good. I'm also using the um, resistant bands for my arms, and I am also using um, my weights, my hand weights. So I've been doing that. Haven't done any aerobics or anything like that. Like I said, with my arthritis and my knees and my hips right now, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. I gotta do what I gotta do though. Um, I've gotten these bat wings, as they call, starting to form. <laughs> you can probably see where my real arm is for how much weight I actually lost. You can see the line right there. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to wear this saggy skin with bright. Um, so, again, my weight, I'm going to end this video quickly with you guys because I don't have enough energy to be able to do long videos. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, because of the bleeding thing that I had um, after surgery, I'm still extremely anemic. Um, so now I'm on iron infusions once a week for the next four weeks to try to bring my iron up and bring my hemoglobin up because I've just been so tired. Today is actually the first day since the morning that I had surgery before I went under that I actually feel sort of myself, um, I I'm going to take advantage and see if I can get in my kitchen and actually cook something today. That would be great because I, I miss cooking my foods. But again, I could get down there and start taking everything out. And then within 10 minutes, my energy is just completely gone. Um, but I'm going to try. So I wanted to get back with you guys just to let you guys know how everything was going, why you haven't seen me, what was going on with my health, what I'm doing now. Um, I did, like I said, I definitely feel the difference um, in my size. My husband said he could tell the difference in um, my shape um, of my face. As he said, my double chin is gone. I'm loving it. Just going to be honest. Um, oh, um, I'm not doing the, the bariatric vitamins that I was, I had bought pre-op. I can't stand the flavor of those Celebrate big MCR 45s. I just can't. I, right after surgery, when they put me on it, I could do it. However, after I got that fever with that anamoxicillin antibiotic messing my stomach up, I literally cannot stand the flavor or I will vomit it up. So I am now doing two of the um, Flintstone vitamins with iron that my doctor suggested. I'm doing two of those a day. It's seeming to be uh, working out pretty good. So I'm doing that with my other supplements, which I'll get to you guys on my next video. Um, so today is Thursday. I'm going to do another video on uh, possibly Monday when I will hit my seven weeks and hopefully some more weight has done dropped off because I did slip up with those chips this week and only lost two pounds since last week. And if the scale is still going down, but um, I know I could have lost a lot more if it wasn't for those chips. I'm just saying it's a slider food stay away from it just because you can't eat it doesn't mean you should eat it and you need to use your tool to the best of your advantage so i'm going to end this video now it's almost 15 minutes again if you like what you've seen hit that like button and subscribe um again if i am able to get downstairs i might show you guys a little something something because i have a a taste for some uh chicken fajitas Oh, love chicken fajitas. So I might do some chicken fajitas tonight. Um, might take you guys in the kitchen with me. So again, i like to thank you so much for watching my channel. And you guys have yourself a beautiful, blessed, and lovely day. And I hope good health finds you all wherever you are. Have a good one.